I hate wearing pants. I feel like that's gonna be the quote that I keep seeing in the comments. It's like, Lauren, 2019, I hate pants. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren and welcome back to my annual Black Friday haul. I haven't done a haul in a hot minute and your girl has been shopping. I'm gonna be real with you guys right off the bat. I do not venture out to the malls for Black Friday. It is chaos. It is mayhem. I love a good Black Friday online deal from my couch. No, but like in all honesty, props to those people who really go out and face the crowds and the midnight shopping. That is madness and I enjoy going to bed at 9.30 p.m. So luckily the internet is a very friendly place for people like me and the Black Friday sales were pretty decent I feel like. So majority of this haul is going to be Forever 21, Pretty Little Thing, Urban Outfitters, and then a few other random little tidbits of fun haul things. I haven't done a haul in so long. See if my cardio is good enough to get through this haul without being like <laughs> at the end of it. Let's start with Forever 21. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem with not going in stores though is that like I'm not gonna have a cute bag that everyone's gonna have in their thumbnail But that is the price that we pay for not having an anxiety attack in the mall. Okay. Oh, I lost the sweater Okay, so for 21 was 30% off all outerwear and sweaters for Black Friday I am conveniently going to Big Bear on the annual vlogmas girls ski trip actually our are we even skiing? Anyways, a few of us are gonna go snowboarding at the end of it, but it's the annual Big Bear trip that we do for Vlogmas, which I don't really do, but I just go because it's like fun and snowy and my friends and we do gingerbread houses and it's so Christmassy and I love it. So conveniently going to be headed to a colder climate next week. And I got some really cute sweaters. Our first sweater is pink with little pearls on it, but it's got a really cute like bow front detail. And I feel like with boyfriend jeans, it's gonna be super cute and just oversized and comfy. And honestly, I'm super impressed with how soft all of these sweaters were. So this one was $27.99, 30% off. Math, I don't know. But I think I saved $62 total on my entire order, which is pretty good. Cause all the stuff I got is really, really cute. This was not on sale, but how cute is this beanie? I'm obsessed. Also, am I wearing a beanie because I haven't washed my hair in four days, maybe. And then the next piece I got is another, oh, this is not one of those ones that looks cute when you hold it up. Okay, hang on, stand by. It's like a really soft, fuzzy wrap situation, but it doesn't look cute unless you, I don't even know if it's gonna look cuter if I wrap it. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and is it blown out? Yes, it is. <sighs> Y'all just gotta have to trust me that this is a cute one. It's really soft. It's randomly really heavy too, which is kind of nice. And then it has long straps so you can kind of wrap it however you want. The next sweater, I actually got a ton of questions about it because it was in my last thumbnail. Oh, this sweater is so cute and so winter. It's so cute. So these sleeves are just like these oversized, fun, patterny Christmas sleeves. And it's a little bit of a turtleneck, which I usually shy away from because I don't like being necklace. So this is what the sweater looks like. It's pretty oversized in general and has these really cute sleeves on both sides and I am so excited to take some cute winter pics in this sweater in Big Bear. I feel like all the Vlogmas girls go so hard with like making cute outfits and I just live in yoga pants every day so I'm trying to up my game so I can be like on par with how cute everyone else is. And then this jacket is the best thing ever. I'm obsessed with this. Also I saw that Hart also got this jacket in her last Forever 21 haul and I feel like Hart and I probably have a very similar closet. It's a denim jacket at the base but it has has like fun pink and leopard. This is me in a jacket. Leopard, pink, and denim, and a little oversized. Like, I am so excited to wear it. Does it smell like jean bleach? Yes, definitely, but that's okay. We'll break her in, give her a few wears, and it'll be good. Probably my favorite piece of the entire haul. P.S. We have hella Black Friday sales happening on shop.lorediy.com right now. There's like 40% off on a ton of stuff, so make sure you go check out shop.lorediy.com. We're also doing Cyber Monday, so get excited for that. Okay, I might return this one. Okay, so I got this pink furry sweater dress. It's cute, and it's ribbed, but is this the exact same color as my hat? Yeah, we could just be a whole pink little taffy stick. I don't know. I I feel like I just don't have the curves to make this look the way that I wanted it to look. It's me, it's not you. I don't know, we'll see if I keep this one. And then this one is a definite keep. This is like my rule of thumb in life, I feel like, is finding ways to feel like I am still in bed while wearing regular clothes. And I feel like I have achieved that in this piece. This is what it looks like. It's this big oversized long cardigan. It's almost a robe. Like honestly, if it had the little hooks here and a tie, it would definitely be 
considered a robe, but it's got a hood and it's fleece on the inside and it's so soft, but it has pockets, you know? So it's like robe, but make it outerwear. This was 30% off as well and it was, I don't remember because I already ripped the tag off because I low key already wore it. Okay, so that was it for Forever 21. Next was Urban Outfitters. And I feel like Urban doesn't really do Black Friday sales. Like their sale, I think, was 30% off, which is kind of an always thing. And I feel like they had a romper and dress thing where all rompers and dresses were like $19. Either way, I feel like I'm just kind of unimpressed with their sales section. But did that stop us from buying things? No, it didn't. Hair my lip gloss, hair my lip gloss. So the first thing I got is one of the Urban Outfitters little cramp stuffies, plushies. So he's got a little beanbag rice thing that you can put in the microwave when you're cramping and then you stuff it back in his back and you Velcro him back up and you have a little uterus buddy. They actually had one that was a uterus plushie, which was adorable, but I felt that this would be a little more couch friendly if it was this like little rice guy. Also, was this an excuse to potentially get another plushie into my house? Maybe. Jeremy can't say no to things that are for cramps. And then the next piece are these little just like sweat shorts. They're really cute, ruched at the top and frilly at the bottom. They're like dangerous to wear out in real life. You gonna have a gust of wind and then a butt cheek gonna come out. But like for at home, just chilling, relaxing with like a hoodie, these are perfect. So I have an oversized band tee for Urban Outfitters and I wear all the freaking time. And I feel like everyone has this band tee. But like if they're comfy in it, I wanna be comfy in it too because I know how comfy it is. So I got this ACDC, stressed banty and dude these are so expensive like it pains me to pay $50 for a banty because I know that if I really really tried hard enough at a thrift store you could find something similar but they just make it too easy they make it too easy because it's like perfectly distressed it's the perfect length it's already soft so I caved and then this next piece is a really cute black romper that desperately needs to be steamed and I think it's just gonna look like a massive trash bag when I hold it up <laughs> yeah that looks like a trash bag it wraps and has a tie I, I don't know how to make this look good on camera so it's it's not even like a try on situation because it needs like a solid 30 minutes of steaming and a good gold belt or something. But I think it has potential. And the next couple pieces are just like, wow, also in desperate need of a steam or something. Look how wide this is. Why are you so wide though? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's literally the length of my whole frame. Well, I think it's gonna look cute on and it's just gonna like be a little baggy and be a little crop top. And this fabric is just so soft and so good for just like pairing with yoga pants. I also got it in like a really nice fall stripe. And then I got this powder blue beanie, which I I feel like it's just really cute and I don't have anything like this. I feel like I've had to clean out the beanie collection, so it's a new addition for the new year. And then last piece from Urban is this burgundy furry sweater. And oh my gosh, this thing is so soft. Okay, my only complaint, and I know this is nitpicky, is that it's not soft on the inside. But I understand that like sometimes it just makes you really sweaty really quick, I get it. But I do wish it was a little fuzzy on the inside, but it is super cute. And like, even if you wanna just take a nap up against your arm, it's really soft. Okay, moving on to Pretty Little Thing. Okay, so Pretty Little Thing definitely had the best of the Black Friday sales of all the online shopping I did. Their entire site was 50% off. I was texting everyone being like, yo, PLT is 50% off. Like, go do your thing because I don't know how long this is gonna last. And it's not even like a how long this is gonna last because I feel like they always have bomb sales. But I do feel like stuff sells out really quickly. So I was like, so the first piece I got is this really cute army green sweater dress. And I actually have this in like a powder blue already, but it's got the little ties down here. So you can like ruche the whole thing. <laughs> and obviously, okay, we not gonna ruche it that much because then your crotch gonna be hanging out. But you get what I mean. It's super flattering and so cozy. How do you wear a sweater, but like make it party, but not quite party, but like friend gathering party. So got this. And then I also got it in like a more party fabric. I'm hoping this is one of those situations where it looks cute on because currently it just looks like a giant penne noodle and I don't know how I feel about this like are you a spaghetti what are you also is my arm gonna fit into this not really okay all right so TBD on if this is going to fit or not hopefully we go make this work because it is really really cute and if not we'll just go back to the, like the knit one I feel like I've been doing a skirt thing lately with like crop tops and jackets and different skirts and oversized tees with like a little bit of skirt sticking out they're just more comfortable than wearing jean shorts or jeans you guys know that like my goal 
in life is just avoid jeans as much as possible. <laughs> so this is my answer for it. So the first one I got is this really cute pleated pink skirt and like a powder pink. And this ended up being like something so stupid cheap. It was insane. I forget how much it was total, but like it was maybe $11. So I was like, okay, well that, that means that I have to get it in another color too, obviously. So then I got it in black, but this is so cute just to pair with like a little crop jean jacket or something, or even like a knit sweater. I was like a Sarah Jane Betts YouTuber. I would do like a try on situation for you, but we got a lot of clothes today and I want to make sure I can get this up for you guys on actual Black Friday. So you just gonna have to trust me. And then I also got this little tiny skirt, which I don't think is going to fit. Also, I know for a fact my hips do not look like this. So I don't know. I feel like we got just like a pink thing going on, but it is really cute. It's definitely a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be, but it was like $7. So that's okay with me. And then the last skirt I got, and these are like my dream skirts. They're just so soft and stretchy and spandexy. It's this really cute red plaid skirt, and I feel like it's just so perfect to pair underneath like a long oversized band tee. I feel like it's the ultimate hack for not wearing pants. I hate wearing pants. I feel like that's gonna be the quote that I keep seeing in the comments. It's like, Lauren, 2019, I hate pants. And then I got two more oversized band tees from Pretty Little Thing. And these ones are so perfect because I know they're made for girls and it's not like a unisex situation, so they're a little longer because Pretty Little Thing knows that we want to wear these as dresses because we don't like pants. I feel like it's probably not fair that I speak on everyone's behalf, so I don't like pants. This is the first one. It's a really cute, like, leopard spotted rolling stones oversized tee. It's like got some length to it so you can wear it as a dress and it's super soft and already kind of got like its own distress situation going on. And then the other one I got, ooh, wow, this is actually like a lot softer than I thought it was. This one, and this is kind of a weird color. I don't think I have anything in this color. It's the Pretty Little Thing brand, which I don't normally buy, but I love the graphic on the back. It's so like fun and retro and like kind of futuristic. Like, it makes me think of like Back to the Future or something. Okay, so what would a Black Friday haul really be without some bed, bath, and the <laughs> I literally all I always get them mixed up. Bath and Body Works, Bed, Bath and Beyond. I literally get the two mixed up all the time and they are nothing alike. Anyways, the three wick candles were on for like $18 down from 25, I think. So your girl got three because it is time for some holiday freaking scents. Okay, so the first one I got is Ski Lodge, Hot Cocoa and Cream. Oh my God. It's so good, uh, And this lid is so cute, like it's like icing or like a snow layer for the lid. The holidays make me so emotional. And this next one I feel like is a classic. It's the Winter Candy Apple. Gah, so good. I feel like this one is like nostalgic for all the other Black Fridays I've done and smelled this exact candle. And then the last one is Champagne Toast. She classy, she cute and she classy looking. So if you guys haven't seen on my socials, I just wrapped shooting three weeks of an entire first season of an HBO Max show called Craftopia and the wardrobe on this show was incredible and I got to keep all of it and it was insane. I literally went it wrapped and they're like, oh yeah, you get to take all this home like it's yours. I was like, what do you mean? Anyways, these are my three pairs of favorite shoes. Some of them I wore on set, some of them we didn't actually get to, so they've never been worn before. And HBO Max gave them to me, and I'm kind of dying. Yeah, it's so cool that like we filmed an HBO Max show, but like these shoes are sick. <laughs> Okay, so the first pair are these platform Fila like zebra faux haired shoes. I am obsessed with these. They're so fun, so comfy. Why did no one tell me how comfy these Fila sneakers are? I feel like everyone has them in the platform, just like plain white. And I was like, yeah, like those are super cute, but like I have some platform white sneakers. Like, I don't really need them. They're so comfy. I feel like I've been missing out on a massive secret that everyone else knew, but now I have arrived. Oh my gosh. Okay, these next ones I literally almost died in a few times on. Set. So these are by Anthony Wang. They're probably the craziest shoes I have ever worn. I put these on my social media while we were shooting on set, but like, oh my god, what is going on? They're so cool. These are like definitely not an everyday sneaker, I feel like, since I just like live in athleisure, but they're so cool. I'm just not over how cool they are. And then the last pair are from a brand called Aqua, and Aqua makes super cute shoes. I actually got a pair of these in like a khaki color as well, but look at these green neon laces, and they're just like a fun 
in black and white leopard print and I'm just so excited to wear all of these. I really need to figure out like a new shoe storage solution because I think I have like 14 new pairs of shoes, some of which we wore, some of which we didn't. So I don't know what the plan is with that, but I have a lot of new shoes and they got nowhere to go in my house. Oh, I have one last thing. Okay. I mean, it's really cute. Like I'm super excited about this really just like cute crushed velvet skirt from Free People, but it was really expensive and not on sale at all. I bought it the other day. $88 for a skirt. That is ridiculous. I feel like Free People just never goes on sale and I was like, if I want this skirt, I just have to buy it now at full price. So I did. All right. So I think that is everything in my Black Friday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go binge and spend my entire Friday watching all the other Black Friday hauls that go up today because like this is like a great day for YouTube. I love hauls so much and I'm so excited to just literally spend the entire day on the couch today. So this Sunday I'm uploading a DIY master that may have been the worst DIY master I have ever tried to master and failed at but I wanted to share it with you guys anyway because it's highly entertaining. So anyways that's coming at you in a few days on Sunday DIY but I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today on Black Friday. Don't forget there are a ton of sales happening on shop.lordiy.com and more stuff happening on Cyber Monday so get excited for that. I will see you guys on Sunday for a Sunday I want to catch up another week. Leave love. Okay, bye guys. Love you. I'm the DIY queen. That's the royal elite. My pretty little kingdom. Now you're running the streets. She's the DIY.